New Zealand leading your news hour tonight, the death of a favourite Kiwi character, Barry Crump, storyteller and truck salesman. Of course. New Zealand lost a lovable legend today. Barry Crump has died at 61 after a heart attack. Through books, film, TV and song and even a stamp, he was part of everyday life. At 10 o'clock this morning, he left this life, but Michael Holland reports he also left plenty of memories. The two of us. For the last decade, this is the Barry Crump we've all come to know. A good, keen, hard-driving man. He loved knocking around. He loved this country and he loved spending time around it and meeting the people in it. Now the wandering adventures of this man of the people have come to an end. Barry Crump died here at Tauranga Hospital, surrounded by family and close friends. After lying unconscious on a ventilator for two days, his family decided early this morning to turn his life support off. That's what he would have wanted. He wouldn't have wanted to be kept going artificially. And uh, unfortunately, after the doctors, uh, they did a great job, but unfortunately it was not to be. But for Crumpy, it wasn't always days out in a flash ute. After growing up in South Auckland, he went bush at age 15, hunting deer, rabbits, and anything else that moved and that experience moved him to put pen to paper. Someone wrote a book about deer culling and uh, I saw where they'd missed out a fair bit so I wrote one too. That made me famous. I didn't expect that. They paid me a hundred pounds advance. I thought, hell, what good pay that was and I took off. Ray Richards was the publisher that shelled out and took the gamble that another publisher wouldn't. In terms of literature, he occupies a memorable place as our largest selling author, our most popular public figure of an author, and the greatest yarn spinner that New Zealand has ever known. There were many more yarns in this good keen author. His second novel, Hang on a Minute Mate, was another bestseller and proved a good yarn on the screen with a main character just like Crumpy. I would like to stay in one place for too long. There were more books, more films and roles on the small screen. It was vintage, straight-talking Crump. A character who always found the, the direct answer to something. If there was a problem of his wife locked him out of the house, he went through the wall with a chainsaw. In fact, he had five wives and nine children, all of them boys. It's just the two of us. But in the public's eye, there was another marriage. Crumpy, Scotty and their Toyota. Everyone I've talked to uh, has been entertained by them. And that's a real bonus for us in the business. With the driver gone, Toyota have pulled the ads for the time being. And another project Crump was developing is in doubt. Just a few days ago he was, uh, he spent many hours of the night writing. And that's how he'll be remembered, his writing and his yarns. And if we meet some other place, a stranger you will be. I can't remember name or face, they're all the same to me. I'll greet you like a brother, I'll make you laugh somehow. Then one day I'll drift away, just like I'm doing now. Barry Crump, and he was 61. And there'll be more on his life and times later in Holmes.